you know, the, the sort of naive and simplistic picture, because we, we're short on time, of romanticism is that we have this authentic core. And then we have these layers of, you know, social restrictions labeled on it. And all we have to do to be authentic is to leave the group, right, to peel back these social layers. So when I asked my friend, well, isn't that crazy? You just told me that you, you didn't really believe in prog pro progressive economics for itself. You, you, you did it out of a sort of social conformity. And his answer was, how was I conforming? All of my peers were economic conservatives. I was the only economic progressive. And this is the lie, I think, of romanticism, is that it confuses difference for autonomy. It confuses distance for authenticity. I think there's a narrative in modernity that to be different from the group means to be authentic. And I'll leave you with sort of one last image here that I think is quite striking. So Marlon Brando, a famous uh, actor, I think in the 40s was, uh, was in a movie called The Wild Ones. And yep. he, he's dressed in this really cool uh, leather jacket. He's clearly like this rebellious sort of like late 20th century figure. And then a girl goes up to a bar and she asks, what are you rebelling against? And he says, with a smug grin on his face, what do you got? Right. He, he, do, he doesn't stand for anything. He doesn't care. Yeah, Whatever doesn't you care. give in front of him, he's going to rebel against. And I, and I think a, a, a sin is too strong as a word, but I'll use it. A sin of modernity is to rebel with no less rigidity to tradition as the Confucians of old, or maybe the Christians of old conformed just simply for the sake of conformity to, to, to tradition. 